Thank you. In just a few decades, we will be more than 10 billion people on this planet. And we need enough food and water for all of them. To do that, the World Bank says we need to more than double our food production at the same time as we need to drastically cut carbon emissions. The challenge with that, well, if we assume production as it is today, is we don't have enough land to do that, and we don't have enough water. Agriculture currently accounts for roughly 70% of all global freshwater withdrawals. And as you probably noticed this summer, at least if you were here in Europe, our resources are starting to run dry. For those reasons, it is absolutely vital that we find new ways to make our production much more efficient so we can produce more with way less. The first step to making that happen is to make sure our farms have access to reliable, cheap and clean power around the clock. Solar panels plus energy storage technology like ours is key to doing that fast. And I'll give you a small example to understand why. Let's say your name is Joe and you're running a yogurt factory in Australia. Where your factory is located, you have a very unreliable power grid. And this means you have power cuts every single day, which means you have to throw out entirely newly produced batches of yogurt because you can't pasteurize it or keep it cold. To become independent from this unreliable grid situation, you install solar panels on the rooftop of your factory. And that's great, because the panels, they cover your power need between roughly nine in the morning and three in the afternoon when the sun is very strong. But for the remaining part of the day, you still have to run a diesel generator to produce enough power for your factory. Not only is that diesel generator noisy, smelly, and very expensive to run, it is polluting. These sort of cases, we see them all the time. And this is where Celio's technology can really make a difference by replacing the diesel generator and making sure that customers like Joe have a stable and clean power supply, allowing him to produce and supply all of us with nice yogurts. So, not only is long duration energy storage an enabler for customers like Joe here, it is an absolute necessity to make our local businesses prosper at the same time as they decarbonize their businesses. And we see a lot of interest from customers just like Joe. And whether they are producing dairy in their farms, processing walnuts, making wine or the like, they have a huge power need and they have a power need for reliable power. They need all of this power for different purposes. To pump water from the ground, to irrigate their crops, to heat for drying them, cooling for different processing purposes, conservation of their products. And often these processes, well, they're very energy intensive and they take place in remote locations far away from traditional energy supply services like the electricity grid. For all of these type of customers out there, it will never be enough to put solar panels on the rooftop. They need backup power for the darker hours of the day too. They need energy storage. This is why Acilio is specializing in delivering clean power solutions for the agricultural segments that are critical to feeding a growing population. With this focus, we can offer something of unique value to our customers. So let's talk about that for a little while. Our solution and its value to customers. Well, if we go back to the examples I gave before, 
if you're running a dairy farm, processing walnuts, making wine, or even, like Torbjörn mentioned, running a fish farm, you need that stable power supply. You need heat too. Small example, did you know that most warm water fish species, they won't grow or even reproduce at water temperatures below 15 degrees? And in fact, most of the things we consume, whether that's vegetables, fruits, nuts or the like, they have an ideal temperature range where they thrive the best. But we are in the middle of a climate crisis where temperature fluctuations, they become larger, droughts longer and floods more extreme. And all of this is making it even more difficult for our farmers to produce the food we need. So pr to produce more with less, more than anything right now, our farmers need a stable power and heat supply. And by utilizing both, the round trip efficiency of our system, like Torbjörn mentioned, is closer to 90% which means that the vast majority of the energy that is used to charge our system will be used again. In other words, it makes a huge difference for our customers that we can cover both their needs for heat and power in the same product, and of course that the business case becomes a lot better when the round trip efficiency is high. Combining these two elements in our offering is actually a new thing. And we are right now running the first reference project of the so-called CHP solution, which stands for Combined Heat and Power, at a farm here in Sweden, where we are utilizing the test pod to power the farm's facilities and the heat to dry the crops from the harvest. Have a look at this video. We are here in Haneberg, Eskilstuna, Sweden, where a groundbreaking development in energy storage is taking place. As part of a collaboration with the Swedish Energy Agency, Asirio has installed the TestPod Long Duration Energy Storage System. And this is a flagship product for combined heat and electricity application. We are using renewable energy to charge our system. And by doing that, we are able to replace fossil fuels, both in heating and in electricity applications. My name is Jonas Valmander, and I'm the CEO of Aselio. Long duration in the storage addresses both the climate and the energy challenges. It reduces the impact of climate change by making renewable stable and available 24 seven. And it solves the energy crisis by being decentralized, cost-efficient, and market-ready today. Azero has test pod units deployed around the world and supplying clean power. This is the first Azero installation where heat is being used. In addition to providing electricity, test pod is generating heat, which will be used to dry grain here at Hanebein Farm. I'm Anders Kusberg, I'm a part of the family who owns this farm, Hanebergs Atelier. We have around 350 hectares where we mostly produce grain. You dry the grain to have a better quality and to store it for a long time. My name is Torben Lindqvist and I'm operating as the Chief Technology Officer here at Asilio. We have for the first time in the world demonstrated a new way of delivering heat and electricity to customers. The heat that we produce from our system is used to preheat the air to the drying process and that heat is delivered through a hot water circuit. The system has been designed primarily to deliver electricity to the customers. But by including the energy from the heat, you can increase the efficiency. By this product we are able to deliver heat at low temperatures to many, many applications. It could be agricultural, it could be mining, it could be local communities. Hanebergs this farm, 
it wants to be a future-proofed uh, farm and all the things that Azilias offers with the, the heating, the renewable power and electricity just ticks all the boxes that we want to have at this, at this farm. Uh, drying grain is really one of the first applications, but what I see as one of the most important uh, applications going forward is really the desalination and, and water purification. So far this is the first project that we are deploying. This is a demonstration project where we prove that the CHP solution is working. But we are ready to deploy this uh, in uh, many new locations all over the world, in all our key markets like in the US, in South Africa, in the MENA region and in Australia. And the next step for us is to add the heat system in our installations around the world.